Hey y'all, Arlen here. As promised, I am going to try my very best to make you a how to make a bow tutorial. So I've gathered a few couple different kinds of ribbon here. This is two-sided ribbon. It looks the same on each side and I will make a bow out of this first. Then I might try it out of this but it's not two-sided so therefore this is harder to do this is harder to work with to make a bow because you have to do a lot of twisting and a lot of tweaking to the bow actually why don't I try this first to show you that it's I wouldn't start with this I would start with a double-sided ribbon because it's a lot easier but I'll show you the process and then I might make a bow out of that real quick just to show you how much easier it is. Okay, so you pull out, you need your ribbon, and this again is, is wired. Actually, I'm not sure that this is wired, it's just stiff, it's just really stiff. Pull out a good bit, oh well, it doesn't look like I have a lot on this bolt. <laughs> ah, so I'm not gonna get very far, but I can show you the process anyway. You need a pair of a pipe cleaner and a pair of scissors. So anyway, you start by fold, making one fold this towards way. you, and you overlap what, the fold you just made, and then you pinch it together. And as you can see, this is really wide and thick. So then you can see that this is coming out on the wrong side. Well, obviously that's not what you want. You wanna make your little center portion of your bow, so you need to twist. So there you go, you twist it, and then you kind of turn it under itself and make a little, a little center part of your bow. And I'm struggling with this, so, you know, it's not the easiest thing to work with. Then you get it out, and then it's naturally coming out one side. So then you turn it, and you start making the loops to your bow. I always make tiered bows. I just find them easier and prettier, to be honest. Now, you know, I can make like the big bows that you might put like on a huge wreath or even I've seen them as, as tree toppers on Christmas trees and things like that. These big, huge bows. I saw one in Hobby Lobby yesterday. Um, and you know, and all they are is just big loop after big loop after big loop. And, you, and that's easy, easily enough done. This is kind of a little bit more sculptured, if you will, of a bow. So anyway, you come out this and come out about an, a half an inch longer than your first loop and make a loop and then catch it underneath with your fingers and pinch it together. And there you have your second loop. And then with this, again, you've got a twist and come out about the same, same distance as you did from this loop over here and then scrunch it together. There's not even enough of this ribbon to have a little tail. So anyway, that's the basic instruction for a bow. Then you take your pipe cleaner and feed it through the center portion of the bow. Right there, your little center loop. Catch it with your thumb underneath there and pull it around to the back, right in the center. And twist. And there you have it, kind of doesn't look the best because it would look better if it had a couple more loops coming out the bottom and a couple of tails but you get the gist of what I mean as far as twisting is concerned It's obviously doable and it makes a really pretty bow with these big wide burlaps but they are not easy to start out with so okay there's that All right, let's show you with the double sided and how much easier it is so again I pull a bunch out same process, only without the twisting. You fold it towards you once, and then you come back and overlap it on the other side. And when you do this, be sure to overlap it a good bit because when you're finish the bow and you're tweaking it and so on, you don't want it to uh, this to pull out. So if you overlap it, it'll be secured nicely when you put your pipe cleaner through. 
So make your first two loops and then you pinch them together. And instead of having to twist, you just pull this right around and under itself and pinch it together. And there you have your first part of your bow. And so you don't have to twist any of this. This is so easy. And then you just go to the next loop, make a loop again a little bit longer than your first one and catch it underneath, pinch it together, come around the other side, come on the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to make a three-tiered bow with three tails on it for you. You come out this side again, another half an inch to an inch longer than the first loop. And you're naturally going to go back and forth and back and forth. You'll see when you do it, it's it will naturally be fed out the other side, the other direction that you need to go. So, okay, to make the third loop, you just come out again, another mm, half an inch to an inch longer than the loop before it. Turn it under itself and pinch in the back. And then again, it naturally came this direction. Sometimes this ribbon might get twisted. I have to turn it around and mess with it. And again, come out another oh, half an inch to an inch and catch it underneath. Now to make your tails, let's go ahead and pull that right on off the bolt there. You come out a little further because you want your tails to, to be pretty. You can make them as long or as short as you want. I kind of start out with them long so that I can figure out what I'm going to put the, the bow on and then cut them once I get, you know, an idea of where I want to put the bow. So it's the same concept. You pull out and you make a leaf. Uh, grab it kind of in the back end and twist it under itself. Not a big deal. And on this, it really doesn't matter. But it just kind of makes the three tails kind of fall where you might want them to. And then grab that underneath, and you're basically done. Then you take your pipe cleaner, and you feed it through that center loop again. Grab it with your thumb and pull it around kind of between your fingers on both sides and twist. Not hard, honest. So then all you do is just kind of tweak it and fluff it and fool around with it until it's the way you want it to be. And to make your tails, first thing you do is cut that one loop, the one big loop that you made, cut it in half. I find the easiest way to do these is just to lay it on the counter like this or on your table or wherever you're making it. And how I do uh, the, ed the ends, the two ends, is I cut them at an angle like this. And then the center tail, I'm going to cut this down a little bit because it's a little bit unruly. And it's got tape on it. It's going to stick to my finger right when I'm doing this video because, you know, that's the way things happen. <laughs> I swear. What you do is you fold this in half and you eyeball it and you say, okay, I want my tails to be down here. Now, sometimes I've done this opposite and ended up with a point. You don't want to do that. You want to be careful. You want to say, okay, visualize it. You want two points to come to the edge and make one cut. And that provides you with two points like that. So there you go. There's a bow tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll be glad to try to answer them. Again, this is Arlen. Have a good day, y'all. Till next time.